God said, let her write. So he could have given me any other gift, but he gave me the gift of words. The gift to express the feelings that oftentimes go unheard and lines were blurred in the making of me. He had to give me a little extra, call me a walk in life's destiny. See, it's guaranteed. I was destined to succeed. And if you stay a little longer, I might just give you a new breed. And that fresh air that you breathe, just know that it was me. A divine melanin queen. Hey everybody, my name is Alexis Lawson and I am from Cleveland, Ohio. Moved to Charlotte, North Carolina when I was about 11 years old. And now I am here in Moore County serving as your 2021 Artist Year Writing Fellow. All my life, I wanted to be something creative. First it went from being a fashion designer to being a songwriter and then to being a lawyer. And then right when I got to high school, I took one English class and that's when I knew that I really wanted to be a writer. I was sitting in my first year freshman year English class and you know I didn't really know too many people I was new to the school I didn't go to middle school with all my other friends but this one teacher was also new to the school so we bonded on that point she always gave us opportunities to speak in front of the class and that I really wasn't too keen on but as the semester progressed I actually grew to love it besides your basic grammatical rules you don't really have too many restrictions so that's what I really love about it so I did this poem and you know it was my first time performing I'll never forget it I was so nervous but after that, it was kind of just like, I'm actually good at this. I think a lot of the times in our life, we're constantly going back and forth on what we're good at. And you know, I always say, I'm a writer by chance. I'm not a writer by trade. I'm a writer because one day I decided to pick up a pen and put it to a paper and I somehow was good at it. And me acknowledging that I was good at it, I kept working and I kept failing. I kept working and I kept failing. Like, I would write a poem and I wouldn't like it. I would write a story and I wouldn't like it. But it was that one poem that I did like that made me keep going, that made me want to write more. And that is why I'm here. I serve because somebody served me. I serve to give them something to believe in. I serve to teach them to believe in themselves. I serve for all the students sitting in classrooms not enjoying what they're doing because classes like math, history, and science are put above the arts. I was sitting in my college dorm room, 19 years old, not really knowing what I wanted to do. And so I was on LinkedIn and I'm like, yeah, let me set up a LinkedIn account, get my life together, meet some new connections, and hopefully try and find a job. And I was scrolling, I was scrolling through the list of jobs. I'm just like, this is not what I want to do. And I guess somebody, something in the world heard me because a link, a ad to Artist Year popped up. And I'm like, hmm, usually these ads aren't real. But I clicked on it anyways. And, you know, I did a little Googling, did a little research, looked on the website, and they seemed pretty legit. And so I found the tab that said apply. And that night I filled out the entire application and apply. And I got a call back like the next week. Did my interview. It went pretty well. I'm like, um, this was too relaxed to be an interview. But then she called me back about a week after I graduated in December and told me that I got the job. I am so excited to work with you all this year and I can't wait to see everything and all the great things that we create together. Bye.